you what I'm wearing today? I'm wearing a sunflower lanyard. And why am I wearing a sunflower lanyard? Well, to show that I have a hidden disability. So, this video has come up at the last minute, but I thought I wanted to share something because there's been a lot of things that have happened this week involving the lanyard, and it all started with a post, and this post was this. Bet you didn't see that coming, did you? Well, I didn't either. And I looked at this when it was posted on Monday, and I thought to myself, oh, okay, that's really interesting. By the way, I'm not saying it in a horrible way because I think that most people's opinions are interesting, but I'm not the person who burns things to record and to put on social media. But when I had a look at that footage, I thought to myself, ah, okay, this is really interesting. So I decided to actually record a video on this. And since this week is also anti-bullying week, I thought I would just have a sit down, talk about it and could join those topics together. So what's this all about involving the lanyard? Well, let me tell you, it's been a very interesting week on social media so far involving the clip. This all started during June, and during the coronavirus pandemic, it's, everything's just gone a little bit crazy, and it's been a bit crazy because a lot of people wanted to express their opinions but sometimes with these things they can be taken a bit too far especially if some things that are used to help others can be abused by other people and in this case it's the sunflower lanyard during the beginning of the first lockdown nothing happened but when it came to the 15th of june the uk government decided to change the law that everybody on public transport, whether it's the bus or the train or a taxi, should wear a face mask, except if you have a reason not to. And in this case, for people with invisible disabilities, such as autism, they are entitled to not wear a mask if they show proof that they have an invisible disability. However, the sunflower lanyard didn't begin that way because it began a few years ago and I have done a screenshot of this which I will read out to you now but to be honest though I have made a few screenshots on my phone and there are some that I will put around the video. So the history for the sunflower lanyard begin in 2016 and it said according to Extreme and Couponing and Bargains UK on Facebook the sunflower lanyard was introduced in 2016 to allow people who have hidden disabilities to get help they need in public settings. So in other words, that it was originally used to help people who really needed the most. However, not all good things actually present themselves in a positive way because when it came to the COVID-19 pandemic and when the UK government um, created the coronavirus laws, including the law for face masks for public transport, and people using the sunflower lanyards to prove they have a hidden disability, something really, really fell out of place. And this is a few examples that I have seen during the past few months. I've seen in my hometown mo that most people wear a sunflower lanyard, but not just for a hidden disability, but for all abilities, including some people who need assistance in wheelchairs and some people who are walking on their own, some people with their families. And I thought, okay, so the sunflower lanyard has been a benefit from them. However, when I looked on social media, 
it wasn't really the case. And on the same post that I've read before, it said, since the pandemic, many people have confused them as mask exemption lanyards. There's a huge increase in people and abusing the system as the lanyards are only 55 pence to buy with no proof of disability required. Due to this, many people without disabilities are buying lanyards to get out of wearing a face covering while shopping, affecting people who use them as a disability aid. Not only this, but some people are buying the lanyards to sell for profit on eBay and Amazon Marketplace. I don't know about you, but to me, that's absolutely disgusting. People shouldn't really be abusing the lanyards at all as a get out of jail free card. And I just think really, it's very pathetic and it's very wrong. But the trouble is, there are so many wrong reasons where it happened in the first place because it has led to some confusion and it's led to something that I haven't really thought about before but now I think since the situation happened this is what I really think needs to be done. So the first thing is the confusion. Confusions need to stop and they should be more aware not only on social media but for the company who actually makes the sunflower lanyards as well. There are so many people who use lanyards for most things including those with bus passes. So another example for me, I have a disability bus pass to get me around on buses without having the need to pay so it's free but for that I have to have a proof to show that I had an invisible disability which has to go through by my local council and I have seen a few people who have that already and that's fine because I know that they are on the spectrum but you really got to think about where all of them are coming from really because some of them are not just coming through the council, they come through different various websites as well. So like eBay, Amazon, probably Etsy or Facebook Marketplace, anywhere, just anywhere on the internet. But it can be used for different things as well. So with my lanyard, I didn't really buy it on Amazon or on eBay or any other place. I bought it from the company where the lanyards came from. And with all of this, so I had the lanyard, which was about £1.50. And then I had two of these. I have like a big square that has the contact details in and I have this little mini card. And altogether, that cost me about £6.50. £6.50 genuine price for all three of them. But the trouble is, there was no proof of disability for the website. Even though I have a right to it, I only used the lanyard once, and that was in September. And I only used it the once because I feel that I, I've needed it in a few ways, but there might be times that I won't. And even if I go on public transport and if I use the lanyard, I still will wear a face mask anyway, because I want to give like respect to others. But with all of this, really, I found that in my town, there are more people using these and there are, I've seen less people using face masks. And I have no judgment against them because I don't really know if they have an invisible disability or not, but it does make me wonder what on earth is going on. And this brings up to my next point. Can someone, the organisation or the councils, please, 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 please change everything? And finally, if you are using the lanyards and you don't have an invisible disability and you know someone who does, please 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 give it to them and don't keep it for yourself but yes that's probably the main thing I'm gonna say I know I've rambled a lot and I didn't really make any sense but hopefully I've made my point and I've made the video longer than I expected but 
hopefully I made my point really loud and clear and I will be doing a separate video for anti-bullying week as well this week but I don't know whether I'll get this video up in time or not but if you would like to have a look at all the links I suggested including the coronavirus law and the autism assemble post or the actual face group itself I will leave a link in the description box down below I know that I won't use my lanyard as a get out of jail free card and I probably won't use it a lot but if you are someone who really needs it the most use it while you still can and be kind be respectful and let's be open and friendly to both of the communities